So, hello everyone. It's a really great pleasure and privilege to be offline again. <laughs> My name is Michał Bobrowski and I'm co-founder of uh, Polish Gamers Observatory, as well as a board member uh, in GRI Online, a Polish division of Webedia Group, and together with Damian Gauszka, a lecturer from AGH University of Technology, uh, Science and Technology will be talking about gamers, gamers in Poland. Unfortunately, for uh, reasons beyond our control, there is uh, only two of us here to present the latest results of Polish gamers' research. Due to health issue, my dear little sister Patricia Rodzinska Szary who is uh, also a co-owner of uh, Polish Gamers Observatory and co-initiator of the whole Polish Gamers project, could not be here uh, with us today. By the way, I'm curious, except Krzysztof and except Wojtek, uh, who participate in our former pre presentation in former years. Please raise your hand. <laughs> okay, Paulina. Except Paulina too. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, it's actually, is, uh, we are presenting the seventh edition of uh, Polish Gamers Research. It's kind of our tradition that nearly every year during Digital Dragons Conference, there is the latest research of our survey. Uh, this year's edition is special in its own way, at least for me. Uh, in the opinion of current government, our project seems to not be not patriotic enough, not national enough, uh, because we, the authors from Polish Gamers Observatory, uh, we don't want to be under current uh, ruling party thumb. So the government is uh, no longer interested in co-funding this project any longer. However, fortunately for us, without any government support, uh, we conducted this huge and uh, quite expensive research on our own, thanks to private funding and for firm support from our friends from Krakow Technology Park. And therefore, I'm sure that also in 2023 and beyond, uh, if you will be looking for latest information about Polish gamers, just go to Krakow, visit uh, Digital Dragons Conference, because I'm sure I'll be here. I'll be here and I'll be talking about uh, gamers. <laughs> but let's back to the current uh, edition. Uh, Damian, I think it's a good moment for you to uh, briefly explain the whole methodology's background. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, thanks Michał and welcome everybody again. So let's move to the methodology of the report and I want to start with a short uh, statement that we maintained um, aims, methods and procedures of uh, the report at, but at the same time we increased the uh, research sample size so let me explain why it's a good news for, for the report and all, for all of us. So objectives and uh, field work, there's uh, no changes uh, since previous uh, wave of the uh, study. So in most cases, we might uh, compare answers between current and previous edition of the report. So it's make only the report more valuable and uh, because we can follow the trends uh, changes in time. Uh, we want to provide you with um, a de detailed information about uh, Polish gamers, their habits, and uh, spendings or preferences. Uh, we focused on all important platforms, so games installed on PCs, web browser games, console games, mobile games and social network uh, productions. So, uh, the data was um, collected uh, on Ariadna online research panel with a computer assisted web interview technique. So uh, as you can see we have a small uh, modification of timing but the more important change compared to the 2020 edition of the report is a bigger research sample that now consists uh, of almost 2,000 internet users aged 15 to 65 years old 
um, which is for sure a desired and positive modification that makes our findings even more reliable. Please remember that um, the sample structure was uh, uh, corrected and calculated regarding the uh, most important social demographic variables. Thus, uh, the main sample um, of the study was representative for Polish internet users aged 15 to 65 years old, including a representative sample of parents of children uh, below uh, 18 years old. Okay, so as always, uh, let's start with uh, the answer to the main question. How many gamers are there among uh, Polish internet users? And as you can see, compared to the previous wave of the survey, the number of players has dropped very significantly. Mobile game remains uh, the most popular uh, with 40% uh, of Poles playing on their smartphone or uh, tablets down from 50%. Uh, 26% is playing on PCs, down from 31%. 24% is playing on social media. 18% uh, is playing on uh, the web browser. And finally, also 18% is playing on the console. The reason for such decrease is quite obvious. is the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We collected the data for this year's edition in mid-March, uh, so we already mm, uh, expected the, the impact uh, of war to our lifestyle, but I must admit I was surprised by its scale. Even uh, when we look at gamers, the next uh, slide, 13% uh, of gamers uh, declared that they play less because of war. They have no time to play games. They don't feel like playing games. So uh, it is worth adding here. It is uh, difficult to predict how long this war will affect the consumption of this form of, of entertainment. We hope that perhaps uh, later this summer or uh, in autumn, we will be able to carry out uh, a short study to re-examine uh, the long-term impact of war on Polish gamers. Okay, so now it's time to uh, discuss the basic social demographic characteristic of uh, Polish gamers. So, uh, this year there is, there is no significant difference um, when it comes to um, gender of Polish gamers. The proportion of males to uh, females is quite stable in recent years, and we can conclude that gaming equally engage both genders. However, um, uh, it's a bit different when we consider parents with kids. As you can see, the data suggests that it's more likely that the parent will have to involve in parental control uh, in relation to a boy than a girl, and it was the same in 2020. Um, when it comes to platform preferences, and we still notice the biggest difference between females and males on PC, especially towards games installed on PC or laptop, as well as browser games. Women, compared to men, uh, are also, also less prone to play console games. But simultaneously, they are more interested in playing um, games in social media. Yet, both genders um, almost equally enjoy playing um, games on smartphones, uh, but this year we have a small uh, shift in favor of men. Yep, next slide. So, um, okay. okay, so now I want to uh, show some most important discoveries regarding the age, financial, situation, education and profession, uh, profession of Polish gamers. We discovered that older players are, le are less vivid than the younger ones. Mm. And um, it, when it comes to the number of um, gaming platforms, that's because, um, because the age is negatively correlated with uh, the number of used platforms. Basically, on average, older gamers will use smaller number of platforms if they play video games. However, it's worth mentioning that the mm, most popular platform in all age segments are smartphones and tablets. Another, 
aspect is the financial financial situation of Polish, uh, Polish gamers, and it might be described as average. Mm, half of them can afford current expenses, but uh, we have to notice that they might have some problems with unexpected ones. Uh, we didn't find any considerable differences compared to the previous edition of the report. So the situation is quite stable, even if we take in mind the pandemic situation. Similarly, we didn't find um, significant changes in the aspect of education, except the, the, the small change in the percentage of gamers who have only the primary uh, education is the, the, the in, uh, increase from 10% in 2020 to 13% in 2022. However, Polish gamers are rather well educated, um, even though the most of them are people with secondary education, it's 40%. But the second largest group are people who achieved the higher education degree, and uh, we have 30% uh, of such respondents in the research sample. What's important, I believe, uh, a typical Polish gamer has a permanent job, and like in 2020, uh, it's around 61% of our respondents who mm, have the, the, the daily basis uh, job, so uh, we can say that they are kind of uh, independent consumers. Uh, when we look at the reason to play games, uh, uh, the impact of war is uh, clearly also visible. About the most important motivation for playing, uh, relaxation and passing time are still the top reasons uh, for uh, gamers to play for every platform. Uh, fewer people engage in gaming because of the need of adrenaline, uh, except uh, for console, uh, the need for companionship, again, also um, console are exception, and the possibility of taking on neural and learning skills. Um, it's worth looking at consoles. They seem to have become the leading platform when it comes to uh, more engaging gameplay, or in general, when it comes to playing with others. And now uh, let's a uh, few highlights about each uh, main platforms. Yeah, so let's start with uh, PC platform. Um, and we will share with you some findings uh, about preferred genres, uh, gaming style, uh, payments and time spendings among uh, PC gamers. So uh, let's start with genres preferences. Uh, gamers who play on PC platform most often choose it might be quite surprising. Card, strategic, arcade action games, as well as shooters defined as uh, first-person shooters and battle royales. And those types of games achieved, achieved results around 30% uh, in our uh, survey. When it comes to the gaming style, Polish PC gamers um, are more likely to play alone. And this year, year's results suggest a small change. It's just around 3% towards single-player modes. Uh, also, we found a positive increase since 2020 um, in number of respondents who declared uh, buying both games and uh, add-ons on PC platform, respectively from 41% uh, to 46%, and from 27% to 30% compared to 2020 edition of the report. Last but not least, um, I'm gamers who uh, play on personal computers, strategic, RPG, MMO games, and simulators require the most time spent per single session. However, uh, whereas MMOs, card, and logic games are genres that uh, PC gamers play um, most often. Uh, and now let's check some uh, main information behind browser games. Okay. So so, uh, fewer people played simple browser games uh, in March 2022, but uh, player engaged in complex games remained stable. Uh, a possible explanation is that complex games incentives uh, regular login in and consume a larger amount of time. The result obtained for game genres, time and frequency of play clearly show a great uh, deal of stability among Poles who prefer browser games. Uh, still, the most favorite genre are logic, cards, and strategic games, which they play in single-player mode for no longer than 30 minutes. 
regarding payment methods, we have a new leader, Blick. In, the, uh, in this year's survey, Blick overtook uh, payments using PayPal's method. At the same time, this is the, another year of clear decline of, uh, in people paying in games using premium SMS. Uh, let me remind you that um, at the very beginning of our project uh, in 2014-2015, uh, uh, premium SMS was absolute number one. Uh, so uh, here I think we should really praise the consistent communication of Blick creators and not only Blick creators, so all modern uh, payment uh, method aimed at Polish gamers. We can see from the results that compared to previous survey, the number of people giving up online payments due to lack of trust in the technology has dropped significantly. And now move to console. Yeah. So now we'd like to share some insight, insights about uh, console gamers. Uh, first of all, we can still uh, confirm the dominance of PlayStation consoles on Polish market. Uh, Polish console gamers are devoted to PlayStation brand. Even years after its uh, debut, PlayStation 4 stays the most popular console in Poland. And what's even more interesting, uh, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 3 are equally uh, popular and both surpass the next gains uh, from uh, Microsoft. Nevertheless, uh, the data shows that uh, the data shows a regular withdrawal from previous generation uh, consoles towards PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series uh, S. And now let's move to um, the mm, to highlights about the um, console market in Poland. So uh, Polish uh, console uh, players rather prefer fast-paced uh, and dynamic types of games. So uh, top five genres uh, on consoles are racing, adventure, action, sport games, and uh, also shooters. Uh, console gamers usually are open to play uh, with uh, others in multiplayer modes. Mm, more than half of them mm, engage uh, in this uh, type of uh, gaming. Yet the popularity of sports games has its role in this trend because for over a half of gamers playing online means playing a sport game. Mm, therefore, um, it's, uh, it's quite a surprise. Uh, mm, it won't surprise us that uh, mm, sports games along with RPGs and FPS games are played most often on consoles. Uh, however, consoles, uh, console players will mostly spend um, around 30 to 120 minutes on single gaming session. If they play RPGs, MMOs or shooter games, uh, uh, then he or she uh, will probably spend more time in such a game. Finally, um, the console gamers um, are willing to pay for the, for the games and add-ons. Uh, we noted a small um, uh, increase of those who uh, buy such goods. And what's even more uh, important, uh, console gamers are ready to um, pay more for their hobby uh, compared to other platforms. And in, in some extent, it might result from higher prices of uh, console games. Uh, as we mentioned before, Mm, mobile devices, by the way, this uh, going with some kind of lag. <laughs> uh, mobile devices are still the most popular platform uh, uh, for playing games in Poland, and uh, as you know, also in global scale. Compared to previous edition, Polish gamers are still most likely to choose games from official stores like uh, Google Play or App Store. However, the number of uh, those using mobile browser games is decreasing. Among genres, uh, still there is an undistributed leader, Logic Games, which gamers play alone usually nearly every day for about uh, between uh, 15 and 30 minutes. Of course, uh, when we're talking about uh, mobile sector, buying add-ons is far more popular than buying games uh, on mobile devices. Uh, but uh, there is one very interesting thing uh, regarding money. 
it is worth noting that compared to previous wave, 7% of respondents spent even more than 100 Polish złoty on mobile add-ons. 100 Polish złoty. Something, the amount of money, rather characteristic many years ago, uh, more for PC gamers than mobile gamers. Uh, the detailed result also show that iPhone or iPad owners are almost twice as likely to spend uh, on mobile games as Android users. Unfortunately, for games uh, publisher in Poland, uh, nearly 90% or even more than 90% of uh, the phone in use are based on Android system. And now uh, something uh, completely new in this year we decided to uh, check and follow information not only about active gamers, but something what we called passive gamers. Yeah, so this year we wanted to deepen our understanding of people who just watch others playing games. And uh, let's begin with the motivations to uh, watch uh, when other people uh, is play, are playing. So, respondents who declared that they watch how others play video games usually did it because of they wanted to evaluate the attractiveness of a new game, but also to relax, to cope with boredom, and to improve skills. It's quite interesting. That results uh, make it clear uh, that the developers should remember uh, to co uh, about cooperation, about creators and influencers, especially those who publish on YouTube, which is the most popular internet media platform among our respondents, uh, who most often use their smartphones to uh, watch uh, videos. Um, the most um, watched games are FIFA, Minecraft and League of Legends. However, our respondents uh, didn't spend that much time on watching uh, other gamers on YouTube or and other uh, media platforms. The majority of them spent just less than 30 minutes per day uh, watching how other gamers are playing games. And watching games is uh, strictly connected with another topic. Mm. OK. Esport. Uh, the result of popularity of esport in Poland should be more like a cold shower for all enthusiasts who have often tried to equate uh, esports and gaming. Uh, the statistics clearly show that this is only a fraction of entire gaming market, which of course uh, has its own die-hard fans, but who has uh, clearly less numerous than gamers and uh, who consume esports less regularly than before. Also, the contribution of esports to the global revenue of the video game sector is marginal, and probably some of you know this is a level of less than 1%. Uh, in addition, uh, compared to the previous edition, uh, we can clearly see less interest among non-gamers in this form of entertainment. Uh, in the previous wave of the survey, 13% uh, declared their interest in esports. This year, this percentage uh, has uh, fallen to nine. Of course, also when we are talking about esports or all other aspects, we must remember that uh, the war in Ukraine can also influence these areas. What does not change is the game that continues to reign in the popularity charts. Poles love not only real football but also virtual ones. So. You know probably what I'm meaning is FIFA series, which is total number one in Poland, followed by League of Legends, Counter Strikes, and World of Tanks. Yeah. So another, let's see, buzzword uh, is is metaverse, and we also were in, uh, curious uh, if uh, this term uh, is popular among uh, Polish um, gamers. So, uh, despite the media uh, coverage of the metaverse topic, only 13% of our respondents claim that they are familiar with this term. Uh, among those who are aware about metaverse, only 11% of them admitted that they used metaverse in practice uh, for gaming. So, for sure, the metaverse term and even more games is a far cry uh, from its popularity peak. 
let's take a look uh, at another technology issue we regularly ask our respondents about in uh, Polish gamers research, so virtual reality. Looking at the results, Mm, of the last three surveys, we can see a clear decline in interest uh, in this form of gaming among Polish gamers. Only 7% of gamers use VR devices. Once again, especially taking account into the high threshold of entry into this form of entertainment, we can assume that uh, the current generation of VR devices will definitely not conquer the Polish market. And to one another buzzword. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, NFT technology. So, uh, in our opinion, it's another example that illustrates that the fact that Polish gamers are not very um, that much interested in gadgets or um, technology, te technological novelties. Uh, and as you can see, the attitude towards NFT uh, technology only. 14% of our respondents had ever heard, heard about uh, the NFT before. So it's a rather yet not popular technology among our respondents. Okay, and at the end of our presentation, uh, I have left some more details related to the impact of pandemic on Polish gamers. Something wrong? <laughs> Let's just leave that topic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the even uh, system don't want to hear something more about COVID-19. Uh, we, are, we were looking for information simply if, first of all, is Metaverse uh, familiar for gamers and uh, with the much smaller sample, because we need to uh, return to our presentation, you can uh, check the uh, sample uh, size, that it was uh, still above 100, but uh, we we're asking them if they're uh, met with something like, for example, some uh, concert in uh, Fort, uh, Fortnite or some uh, activation uh, uh, arrange in Roblox. Yeah, and uh, what's more, in the full version of uh, report, you maybe might find the specific titles the, the respondents uh, just uh, picked when we, are, we are, when we were asking them about the specific uh, games or uh, apps they, 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 they matched with the metaverse term. And, and is this report available on your website? Uh, not yet. I mean, uh, I can say yeah, right we'll, now, we'll, we'll uh, this uh, Polish Gamers Research, the, the current um, edition, is uh, just part of much larger project which uh, will be available uh, later this summer. I mean, first of all, we, uh, this year we are focusing to uh, prepare uh, extremely comprehensive uh, research among uh, ch children 9 to 15 uh, on the um, sample group uh, far above uh, 2000. So uh, I really believe it will be something completely new on the market. And uh, I believe uh, this information will be uh, available in our report. <laughs> Two minutes. <Okay>. So, <laughs> any questions? Uh, So, due to uh, I'm responsible for this uh, project uh, for more than eight years, uh, I can uh, honestly say right now the differences between countries are uh, diminishing. Of course, still we can describe uh, Polish market as more PC oriented because our roots are deeply in the PC era. Uh, without experience with uh, former uh, generation of console, but uh, when I 
I have a kind of privilege because uh, I work in a global media group. So I have access to information, for example, from German market or Spanish market or French market. And uh, Polish gamers are nearly same like German one, for example. But uh, very often we are using the expression uh, when we are talking about Polish gamers is about uh, quantity, not quality. <laughs> so simply the expenditure uh, for games uh, among uh, Poles are far much lower. And uh, probably some of you are uh, also familiar with the very popular expression Polish onion. So Polish gamers like, uh, like a Polish onion, Polacy cebulacy. And uh, it's a v clearly sh visible, for example, when we are talking about uh, access to Game Pass. So Polish gamers regularly uh, register a new account to take uh, another month just for, for slot is mean less than one euro. <laughs> so it's something characteristic for Polish market. OK, so okay, you, you could back. continue. <laughs> So as I said uh, at the end of presentation, I uh, okay. Are you sure it's correct? <laughs> okay, maybe this first slide is is broken. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know why. Okay, but let's move to this one. Uh, I can say that uh, two years of uh, COVID-19 in our lives uh, clearly increased the frequency of play by, uh, both by us and by our children. In this year's survey, we also confirm our insights related to the impact of uh, pandemic on spending. While the majority of gamers, regardless of uh, platform type, report that their spending has remained unchanged, it is clear, especially when looking at, uh, by the way, PC, <laughs> uh, that uh, this group uh, at the start of pandemic and right now are cutting back uh, games expenditure. Of course, it could be um, uh, joined with uh, pandemic, but also with uh, some trends like Game Pass or Mm, a very popular uh, trends among uh, Paul's PC gamers to intercept all uh, available games for free, for example, on uh, uh, Epic uh, Store. And uh, finally, uh, with regards to much covered at end of COVID-19, we also ask uh, Polish gamers about their gaming habits uh, for the predictable future. And as you can see, almost 60% of respondents uh, plans to play as often as now uh, after pandemic. So, and finally, we reach the end. Any additional question? I have one question. Does Polish gamers still pirate games? The, is there any info about this? Any data? Uh, which one? Uh, does Polish gamers still pirate, pirate games? So illegal you know, copies. Uh, it's difficult. I mean, uh, I know it's a typical stereotype of the Polish gamers. However, when we look at uh, figures and uh, answer in question related to the source of uh, gaming, the number of uh, people who clearly admit they, they uh, for example, uh, looking for an official source of gaming are uh, quite stable and is about uh, 15 to 20 percent when I look at the uh, last free edition. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? We still have five minutes. So I can add uh, that if anyone is interested and will be interested in the more detailed scope of uh, data collected, uh, Right now, I invite to visit uh, polishgamers.com probably at uh, end of uh, August, and this whole comprehensive report will be um, available at this time.
So, okay, thank you very much. Thank you.